and finally the last part of the review now I'm gonna talk about gameplay and lasting impressions I talked about first impressions I'm gonna talk about lasting impressions well this game is how it was mostly classified as a computer RPG wants to be a Japanese console game at the it wants to be part it's hard to understand for me because I haven't played the Final Fantasy series neither have I played Chrono Trigger for those of you who have you can tell me your opinions about it because I should be interested in them in about those games in comparison to this one this game has its part of, of strategy its part point and click and, in, and its part real RPG the one that I'm used to the RPG part oh here's the one if you hit too many of them at the same time and they explode they make a high sound the RPG parts well you talk to people you buy stuff and you defeat enemies that's what I call our RPG the point and click you take items you use items this game is mostly point and click you just tell Maya where to go and she does it that makes the game simple the bells and that's where most critics uh, kind of put the edge on the, this game it's like the battle system is too slow and they make poorly animated movements I didn't quite feel that but it's true that they have low animations but if you don't quite notice or are not interested in that part it makes a pretty good part about the strategy in the battles, well, depends on who you bring in the party. And if you may have noticed, I kind of mix the party on every chapter and every part of every chapter. So I can spin them around. But basically, all nine members are included in four parts and my at the middle. The first part is the weaker ones that use core and they go up the more core and speed you have the less defense and offense you have so you need to give up the core and speed to gain strength and defense this party is the strongest in core and speed they are what I would like to call the wizards they are Physical damage, physical defense is pretty crappy indeed. Um, by the way, at every part of this game, if I know there's an item there and I remember to tell you, I will, even though there may be just a bread hidden there. But it's free, even though I have to fight a lot of enemies for it, I will get it. Mm. About the strategizing your party. The next is a speedy warrior and part wizard that means Selena and Aram. They're sort of in the middle because they can cast decent spells and they can do decent damage and their defense is okay. Next is the warriors. Their magic casting is a little crappy but their hits are very good. Maya is between th these two categories. She may fall sh short in the hitting, but maybe she'll do better in the casting. Or the other way around. But because of the fact that I gave her the best equipment, she most likely has the best part of any of these. And finally are the brutes. They do an enormous amount of damage and are extremely slow. That's Baru and Runner. Warriors are Corgan and Lobo. Speed Warriors with all magic are Selena and Aram. 
and with our your Robin Lad. When when using a party you should think about these things. If these are perfect right now because I have the spells and to be honest I can use these guys until the end of the game, but I won't. Now what was that? Oh yes. Buying items is the best strategy in the game. It's not about experience. It's not about money. It's about getting supplies that will help you even in the most difficult battles. If you got the supplies, this game will be no problem. When talking to other um, NPCs, you might see me get free items. Well, the Wind City part was kind of the last one, so don't expect more item collection. This game isn't that bad as some critics say about it. It's, it is very good. And now, let's talk to lasting impressions, especially this review. Now I'm gonna cut, because the video was too long. See one cut? And now you're gonna see another one. Because I didn't have time. The review ain't that good, to be honest. I could have done it better, but even though it's 30 minutes, you might hear me say more about it in my other videos. But if you want to quick talk about it, it is. Oh, and one more thing that they were not only the battles, but the labyrinth places like levers and keys. If you want more of that, see my original palace. Guard the plans closely, Caleb. I'll be watching the operation on Shell 6. The intruders will not leave here alive, my lord. They should never have gotten in here alive. I apologize, my lord. No matter. Balcom will make sure that none tamper with my plan. That's important, so don't forget it. I don't like to speak during cutscenes. Even though it may not have any full motion videos, I didn't place that in the last part, but these are going ah, up. Speak of Gamma. Are you ready to die then, little girl? Give me the plans to the device and I'll let you live. You see, that is the difference between peasants and lords, my dear. We do not offer life as an alternative. And now to a boss battle. For information, this boss was kinda hard. Not it was that I couldn't beat him. You just need to whip up three summons of Marduk, Tartus, even all the bottles. But that wasn't so fast enough because the summonings take a lot of time in my videos. So I had to use the most fast technique I could use. And with this boss, I really was careful for information. You don't get. I won't use this much defense in any fight. I use speed up, barrier, and now. Even bless. It's the best thing I can whip up for my party. And this is how I defeated him the fastest. Now back to the full motion videos. Well, with graphics like this, some of them are out of place. Why didn't they just make the whole game like this? Without any full motion videos. Because there will be one for motion videos, I'm gonna tell you before it will happen. That looks kinda shaky and not that well done. And it's true that not all the chapters have a full motion video, but those that have make it all nice, but the in game graphics seem a lot better sometimes. Oh, when you see me use tab or spacebar, then you should expect for me to pause the video and save. You're not gonna see that saving part. I have a lot of saves, and interesting enough, because I use the version 1.04, some of my saves are. Oh. I think invisible because I can't fight them, but the rest are clear in sight. 
which makes it kind of weird. So yes, I'm using spells because that's what I why I brought them here. Uh, my next party will be Selena and Aram, if you're wondering. And yes, yeah, this was the fastest way to get rid of him. He used the elemental attacks, but I'm but he didn't want to use them, so I didn't quite care. That's worked for me. The bosses here are pretty decent, and some of them you haven't even seen the attacks. At Belcom, I given him an advantage, so you saw more of it. Impossible, from from a mere girl. So, great game, only a doomsday. bad part. There was no sequel. I want a sequel to this game, even if it could be a shooter or action, but it's good.